What is up, my Wookiees? It's Dr. Wookie here. Today, I wanted to go over Gala Film and its potential to explode. I'm going to cover film notes, their potential earnings, current rewards, and the seven different movies and series that have already been announced. As always, all the links are down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So, first of all, Gala has confirmed at least seven film or TV series. There's I and Ico, Ghost of Ruin, Making of the Chronic, Four Down, Cop Stealing, The Vox Movie, and Razor. So we're going to go into more detail about those films in one minute. First, let's go over Gala Film Nodes and what we know about them. So first off, you will no longer be able to purchase a Gala Film Node after December 23rd. So, if you want to FOMO, now is the time. <laughs> There's a link down below in case you want to FOMO. So, to put into perspective, they sold Gala Music Nodes back in April, and they have not sold a single one since then. They did sell quite a few, maybe that's why. So, who knows when and or if when they'll be available again and at what price. So, what will a film node do? So the end goal is for you to be your own server, helping stream film to those consuming the content. Currently, the only reward they're putting out is uh, popcorn. The purpose of popcorn is to reward the early supports supporters by giving them an NFT that will enhance their earning potential in the future once we launch Gala Film Token and start earning. Once this is launched, to exchanges, the film nodes will be rewarded each day with G Film. G Film will be able to be sold or used to purchase film NFTs, unique experiences, or other undisclosed uses. The film nodes are currently $5,000 a piece until the next tier, about 96 left in the current tier at this time of this video. Once they move up a tier, the price does increase. I forget by how much, like $100 or $250. Bucks. If you have one or purchase one, be sure to follow my guide on how to install and run them. If you decide to grab a node, feel free to use the affiliate link down below. I'd much appreciate it. Now, how much can we earn? Well, that's the gamble, right? But when they're already working with folks like The Rock, Mark Wahlberg's production company, DreamWorks, David Bianchi, NBC Universal, AMC, the writer and director from the Lego movie, I would say there is a good chance of some great success. <laughs> so, let's talk about the series I am most excited for. Ghosts of Ruin. This is an anime-style animated film series focused on neural reality integration into video games. And I believe revolves around kind of a Hunger Games style uh, battle royale kind of game. Except you're going to feel it all because you're neurally like integrated into the game. Now this link can carry mortal and or psychological effects, I think. The series looks fantastic, has excellent potential, and can integrate Gala Music and Gala Games as well in the future. The NFTs just went on sale like yesterday or two days ago. Those that are not sold, the level 2 and the level 3, are going to be burned on January 13th, meaning there will be a limited supply. Now, the creators are coming from Hollywood as Gala Film is giving them creative room for this production. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the trailer. Always tell when you're worried. Is it the boy? <laughs> Any progress? It's getting worse. Enough to stop the tournament? Been here for hours. No bugs. Huh. Wanna log out? Huh? Someone's on edge. I'm not afraid of the video game. <laughs> Just a video game, huh? Shh. I want you to feel the power of neural reality. I want you to live in Doesn't that look amazing? And with the level 3 NFT, you can be a character that gets killed in the show and or have a one-liner. 
How sick is that? It's pretty cool. They are also far into production already and plan to have the initial four-part mini-series this summer. The next series to discuss is Razor. Created and directed by David Bianchi, they have already dropped NFTs for this series. One of them is offering you to be an extra with a speaking part. However, these high-level NFTs have already been burned. Razor is based on a dystopian future where we, we've all been upgraded or can't upgrade our neural brains, essentially, so you can access like anything on the internet via computer, which can be used for good or evil, obviously. Uh, Bucks had a great AMA with David going over the show in more details. Uh, filming is already underway for this project as well. So next up is Making of the Chronic. This film will be a uh, documentary of Snoop Dogg's retelling of stories behind the creation of Dr. Dre's iconic hip-hop album, The Chronic. Coming in next is Four Down. This film is a retelling of the story of when four NFL football players got lost at sea in a bad storm. The ship capsized, and then they uh, had to attempt to survive the freezing, you know, not freezing to death while they were waiting for rescue by the Coast Guard. Uh, the Rock is involved with this film. Unknown in what exact setting. Is he an actor versus he bought the rights for this movie? It's going to be sad. And I hate water. So scared of drowning. <laughs> Let's move on. The Vox movie. For those of you who aren't aware, Vox are the cornerstone of Gala Games. They have similarities to pixelated games such as Minecraft or Legos. They have their own game about to enter playtesting for landowners called Voxverse. Well, they are making a Vox movie. And who is writing and directing this movie? None other than one of those who did the same on the Lego movie. Talk about some real talent to create what will be a center film of Gala. Super exciting, in my opinion. Not to mention, DreamWorks be involved? I mean, they recently partnered with Trolls Vox, and look at this clip intro. Hard to believe they aren't working together, at least on something. Maybe my sweet crow vox can be an extra. That'd be so fun to see our crow or our voxes like actually in the movie. Now this brings us to I and Ico. These have been short films. They've garnered millions of views uh, simply for their simplistic storytelling and sweet, sweet short films. Peter Draw, otherwise known as Peter Zhao, is the creator of I and Ico in these films and has joined Gala Films to continue to bring I and Ico to life. These films do not even need words to convey the heartwarming feeling that they really bring. I can't wait to see this cute series just continue to grow. Uh, something I know that my little Wooklings will continue to enjoy. Uh, kids love this kind of storytelling in videos. Delivering some cookies. Oh, the puppy noticed me. Ah, oh, he's coming to investigate. All right, we better get out of here. That brings us to the baseball bank robber movie called Caught Stealing. So this is a true story about a baseball coach of a little league team that made it to the Nationals at the same time the coach was robbing banks. <laughs> Should be quite an interesting uh, retelling of the story. The studio who's managing this film is actually Mark Wahlberg's production studio. There was talk in the past of Hollywood making this film, but they simply never did. Well, look no more as it is now being filmed. So, that is a short synopsis of the seven films that we are aware of at this time and does not cover any other possible projects that are uh, occurring simultaneously. If you look on the Collect Vox website, you will see the following partners listed. They include AMC, NBC Universal, DreamWorks, and specifically Trolls. So 
I would bet there have been many, many talks about many projects. I'm super excited to see what Galafilm brings to the new world of Web3 entertainment and really, uh, t you know, connecting their fans with their uh, things that they love. So, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, if you feel so inclined to send me a tiny crypto tip. My addresses are down below. And as always, stay warm, Wookiees, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>